Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at a water gas shift reaction whereby we are going to be reacting carbon monoxide and hydrogen to give us carbon dioxide and hydrogen. It's not as so much of a clean way to produce hydrogen as there is various ways to produce it. But hence, yes, for the purpose of this video, we are going to look at the water gas shift reaction. I'm going to use DW Sim to simulate the entire process. Let us add our compounds. We are going to need carbon monoxide, water, carbon dioxide and hydrogen as our compounds compounds that are selected there. Also select your thermodynamic property. At the reaction package we are going to select all the compounds ensure that they are included and set our water as our base compound. Okay now let us simulate the entire process. Let's add our first material stream and that will be carbon monoxide. For our compound amount I'm just gonna say we only have one full mole balance of carbon monoxide. Let's also add another material stream and title it water h2o um leave everything at ambient conditions the compound amount here we are only going to have one mole of water entering in the stream if you're happy you can solve everything or you can just go right ahead and add your mixer after adding your mixer you can then go and just edit the final stream um you can title it whatever you want to title it for this scenario i just chose to title it carbon monoxide plus water because we are simply just mixing we haven't reacted anything yet once we balance everything out you'll see that we get a ratio of 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 now the next step will be to add our reactor let us add a gibbs reactor for the gibbs reactor we can specify what we expect to see on the, our outcome in this scenario let's just say we expect to get an outlet temperature of well let's start with 300 also ensure that you selected all your compounds um so that they can react all together to give us our expected reactants if we solve let's see what happens while well, we did get an error the temperature was way too high let us change the temperature now and see if we change it or adjust it to 200 degrees celsius what happens after solving at 200 we did get a 0.002 mole fraction of our carbon monoxide that's a little bit high let's see if we can reduce it or lower it down rather to 120 degrees celsius let's see what happens so after solving we did get a 0.0003 and we also managed to increase some of our hydrogen to 0.39 not bad okay now let's go ahead and add a cooler now for the cooler let us specify also the outlet temperature that we expect to see there lower the temperature as low as minus 200 degrees celsius or rather minus 215 and this is simply because our gaseous hydrogen will be liquefied at that condition okay now let us add a gas liquid separate now we are going to try and achieve a hydrogen as our most product found in the final stream. After solving everything, you should get almost one mole fraction found in the final stream 9 of hydrogen and some byproducts found in stream number 10, which is carbon dioxide at 0 0.6 and water at 0 0.35. Notice how cooling our hydrogen plays a huge role. If we change the cooling conditions to minus 20, notice how hydrogen decrease hence if we take it to as slow as minus 250 degrees it does help a lot with recovering a lot of that hydrogen i hope this makes sense and i'm so happy that we managed to get almost 100 percent recovery of hydrogen which can then be forwardly used or stored in a form of ammonia or any other way you want to store your hydrogen because alone it can be hard to handle it it needs to be stored at carcinogenic conditions okay thank you so much for watching till next time bye